New tonight, a post-election look to the future for Alabama Republicans and Democrats. Tonight, our state Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson's looking at what the future holds for both parties. Republicans are celebrating their victory statewide, while Democrats are hanging on to their victories nationally. But what's next for the two parties in Alabama? So we voted 1.7 million people. It was a record-breaking day for voter turnout, according to Secretary of State John Merrill. 300,000 voters went to the polls, more than have ever gone to the polls before in a midterm election in the history of the state. But did that turnout mean success for for Democrats. Overall in the state, I was disappointed in the results. Alabama Democratic Party Chairwoman Nancy Worley fighting any notion she's at fault. Now, again, there will always be naysayers, people who are malcontents, as I say, who believe that you should have done more or you didn't do the right thing. But we always do what we think is in the best interest of the party. <laughs> On the other side, it was a night of celebrations. It's like Christmas, you know, you work, 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 and you get really exhausted getting up to that special day, and then you get to unwrap everything and go, oh, this was a good day. Alabama GOP Chairwoman Terry Lathan says she would like to see more women run in her party. I hope a lot of women run. I hope more conservatives run than liberal. And leading that conservative agenda. Thank you, thank you. Will be Alabama's first Republican woman governor, Kay Ivey. Both party leaders tell me they have a number of candidates gearing up to run for various offices in 2020. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.